So recently, uh, I had a case who was uh, for who who was forty seven year old female patient, hypertensive and diabetic, presented with wake up stroke, complaining of severe Wernicke dysphagia with NIH score of two. So even NIH score is low, but it is disabling stroke. But it was, and it was a wake up stroke. But uh, du with, during imaging, uh, this is diffusion weighted uh, that shows infarction in the parietal and it's in temporal area also, but it's not shown here. And the flare is negative, there is no lesion. So according to the extent trial, I decided to give RTPA to the patient. After 24 hours, uh, we did CT scan, but there was no obvious hemorrhagic transformation. There was some uh, petechial type two petechial hemorrhages, but it was non-symptomatic. So we decided to keep patient on low dose aspirin. And the NIH score changed, it, the severe dysphagia changed it to mild dysphagia. Uh, now I will talk about the neuro intervention experience in Erbil. We have started since 2018 working and training with a Jordanian team in cardiology cath labs in some private hospitals. The Jordanian team includes two consultant interventional radiologists who visit Erbil periodically every two weeks. And recently, two interventional radiologists from Suleimania City also visit Erbil and help us in emergency cases. More than 1,000 diagnostic cerebral angiographies are done. About 300 brain aneurysms were treated, 45 with low diverters. Uh, these are special types of stents. Around 40 with stent assisted coilings and the rest by coiling only. Around 40 IV malformations have been treated. Around 100 carotid stentings have been done. Around three four, to four mechanical thrombectomy have been done. And this is due to time challenge because the uh, team is not available uh, 24 hourly in Erwin City. Uh, nearly 10 cases developed acute complications. Three of them died due to massive intracerebral hemorrhage, one major stroke, and six minor strokes. Uh, two cases died after a while from intervention, around three months, one due to ischemic stroke, and other due to recurrent bleeding. Uh, this, this are, I'll talk about some examples uh, for uh, cases who have been uh, received in your intervention treatment. 60-year-old uh, female patient, hypertensive diabetic, uh, presented with acute headache, neck stiffness. The CT showed subarachnoid hemorrhage. This is a diagnostic angiography that showed uh, this aneurysm in the middle cerebral artery uh, with the blip, uh, with the daughter cyst that is uh, the cause of the bleeding. We tried coiling in this patient, excuse me, okay, sorry. So we tried coiling in this patient, but it does not fit, uh, sorry, it does not fit due to wide neck. So we plan to do stent assisted coiling in the next visits. Another patient, 61 year old female presented with acute headache. CT branch was negative, but lumbar puncture indicates subarachnoid hemorrhage. And the CT angio was negative. Then we did this diagnostic angiography, which showed this small aneurysm, paraophthalmic sacular aneurysm. <laughs> Um, no, I love you. No, 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 no
Okay, so this patient, 17 year old female, presently with sudden loss of consciousness and uh, CT uh, showed this massive uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage, intraventricular hemorrhage, and brainstem hemorrhage. This is the CT angio showed a huge AV malformation in the posterior circulation, and this is the diagnostic angiography showed this uh, AV malformation with the feeders from the posterior inferior cerebral artery and the uh, posterior uh, cerebral arteries. And this is in the first session, after first session of embolization, this is the embolization area, about 50% of the AVM has gone. Another case is 49-year-old female present with acute severe headache with neck stiffness and CT showed subarachnoid hemorrhage uh, this is this uh, DSA showed about two aneurysms, one of them in the ACA, A1, A2 junction, and the other one, this is another aneurysm in the ICA. So two aneurysms in one patient. Uh, so this is the another, another aneurysm in the ICA, which is more clear here. So uh, <clears throat> first, First uh, aneurysm is coiled, here is coiling, and this, the second one is tented by flow diverter. This is the flow diverter, and this is the another aneurysm which shows fainting and sluggish uh, of the flow, uh, which is indication for a regression after a while. Uh, this is the last case, 68-year-old female also presented with subarachnoid hemorrhage. As DSA showed this aneurysm in the anterior communicating artery, which was coiled. And uh, uh, at the end, I would like to thank all my colleagues, uh, neurologists and uh, student board students in the Rosgari Teaching Hospital who are critical partners in our stroke care. Thank you.